So guys, if you want to be part of the cool guys, you got to buy the merch, eh? You got to watch Arn Bedded. <laughs> guys, I'm here with the Arnold man. Arnold. He's fighting July 27th. Check him out on YouTube. Check out his merch. All great stuff. He's facing G- Giga Chikatse. Arnie, what are your thoughts on him, man? Yeah, man, he's good. It's, like, you know, we've trained so much together. Like, you know, I'm not really a wrestler. So when we get striking, <laughs> it's, uh, it's going to be a good striking matchup. The guy's a world-class kickboxer. And, and, you know, when you go against a guy who's that kind of level at one discipline, it sort of brings the best out of yourself. You know, you want to, you it gives you that fire in your belly, you know, to step up. Yeah, and you're no a stranger to a hard competition. You know, your last few fights, they've been hard. You won 10 in a row in the UFC. You've only fought big names. And yeah. uh, Giga, for me, I was just watching his last fight, actually, just before uh, doing this interview, just to brush up on uh, what kind of things he brings. And mm-hmm. you know what? He doesn't have a lot of volume. You know, he's more like a, he's a big hitter, big kicks, big yeah. crosses. And he fought Alex Caceres recently. And I know you're not like Kung Fu style, like Eric, Alex Caceres. Crazy But style. he's a southpaw and you're a southpaw. And he had a lot mm-hmm. of success, Alex. I yeah. think more than I expected in that fight. So yeah, yeah. do you feel like there's openings because of the open stance and your, your, your left cross is money? So like, what do you have like predicting wise, like in the striking? How do you think it's going to go? Yeah, uh, you know, definitely. That's something we're looking at. And uh, I, did, I did see that fight. And obviously, because he's a southpaw, but then obviously, like you said, he has that crazy yeah. kind of Kung Fu. He's like tall, long, weird style. So I, I, didn't, I didn't really take too much from it, you know, because I'm a little bit more orthodox, a bit more of a boxer, a bit more... Yeah, like, you know, tight hands, straight punches, yeah. and uh, he's all over here. So, <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think I just, I, th- I don't know. I, there's glimpses in my head, and I'm like, oh, the Dan Hooker fight. I see moments of just rushing and getting in there, and then obviously, yeah, I that is never the game plan, but uh, yeah. having a technical matchup too, I, I see that being an option. Well, definitely, if you if you heard him, because I feel like he does get hit with the cross. Like, I know Alex Caceres mm. landed some crosses, but Alex doesn't have your power and speed. And also, you have a really good footwork game. And I feel like your foot speed by itself is at a higher level than Giga. Giga has a little bit more, like, he stomps around, he walks around, and he really winds up on his kicks. Yeah. And that like, great K1 style. Is very it? K1 style, exactly. And that boxing mm. footwork of yours can really p- put a number on him. I was wondering, yeah. what's the answer for the kick? Because the kick, everyone is expecting that kick. We all know it's coming. Yeah. That right yeah, kick of yeah. his. What do you think? Uh, keep my hands in the way. Yeah. <laughs> Block it. <laughs> Block it, counter him, put the yeah, pressure on yeah. him. Well, that's great, man. Yeah, and I was also watching a lot of your... Uh, I was watching like your weekly arm embedded oh, and you, uh, really good stuff, man. Amazing stuff. I'm happy. It was a lot more like... You know, we got to see like the the funny side of you too, right? Because not everybody yeah. gets to see that. You know, that's we know because we've trained with you for years and all that. But I really like yeah, what you're yeah. doing with your YouTube and everything. And I was just wondering Thanks, from that series, I was shocked about the shoes, man. Did you get a new pair? The scuffed shoes. What do you got to order was... a new pair of Nike shoes and they're all scuffed up? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, man, yeah. how is this brand new from Nike? And they sending yeah. you scuffed <laughs> shoes. Did you just keep yeah. them? What did you do with them? No, I got a new pair, but they, uh, <laughs> they refunded me. It was a whole process. Okay. I had to like, apply, send them off, and then pay for shipping. Then they refunded it. That was a nightmare. It was a nightmare, man. And they were all like dirty as well. Like Someone had been wearing them. Yeah, it looked Come like, on. but you said they didn't smell bad. So that's like, at least at least they yeah. didn't have stinky feet, but they scuffed them that's up. The only thing. Somebody probably that wore them, sense. scuffed them up, and sent them back. Yeah, yeah. And, and then they, they sent them to me. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I was also <laughs> wondering when I was watching, like, what happened to your blender? Do I need to send you one? Should I order you one on Amazon? You know, what's uh, going on with that thing? I have to ask the head chef what's going on with the blender. I feel like you know, you're the head going. chef. You cooked quite a bit on that thing. Uh, only for YouTube. <laughs> only for YouTube. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. You're doing yeah. it for the cameras here, the views. Yeah, better. yeah. I don't know where anything is in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, knives and forks, that's about it. My favorite thing was your technique of holding the bowl. It was like you're headlocking your little brother and you're just like <laughs> giving him a noogie, but you were scrambling out, those yeah. eggs. It was nice to make the pancakes, the banana, you have whatever. You're getting there aggressive. You have yeah, to go yeah. aggressive. It was good, man. And I, I really liked how you like, you know, because you're fighting at the top of the top you know like you're only finding the best guys there is but yeah. you don't take life too seriously too like you're enjoying yourself and i see like you're still yeah. doing those long drives to go to practice and this and that yeah and how does it feel like because like me my longest drive i ever had to do to practice is when i would go to uh new york to train on the weekends you know like i drive on okay. the sunday like eight hours but then i would sleep at nikki's house and then i yeah, wake up right. in the morning drive only an hour and a half to manhattan and then drive yeah. five hours back 
explain to me like what goes through your mind during those long drives are you thinking about the fight or are you just putting dance music on and you're having a great time in that thing yeah uh there's definitely moments i think that's i'm not thinking about the whole way i try and you know obviously you go in with your your routine i'm, I'm sparring today and this is what faraz has given me the work so i'm gonna visualize that in my head and prepare for the training session but then obviously you, you can overload your brain so i'm like right yeah. now i need to now I need to think something fun, like maybe put a stupid podcast on and switch off for an hour, you know. But um, the last few weeks, I actually haven't been going up there, haven't been making the drive because uh, because the fight's at 3 a.m. We're having to adjust the time schedules. And uh, Leon Leon is fighting at 5.36. So now the training is like staggered. Oh. So he took some of the partners and then I was like, oh, that kind of doesn't actually work. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm... Uh, but listen, you know, like sparring for you, it won't be necessarily the most important thing the last couple of weeks because even the last couple yeah. of weeks, we, even when if you when you're in Montreal, we lighten it up a bit. Right? Yeah, we yeah. lighten it up and we make sure that you're fresh for the fight. So the I, work's know, done. Right? The work's done. Yeah, exactly. For the last couple yeah. of weeks, it's not really the end of the world. But I liked what you said. You're in, it's interesting that about. Uh, I know for us coaches, you remotely. How does that work? Like, what does he do? Yeah. Do you send him sparring videos? Does he give you like a? Does he have like a pen like on ESPN and he highlights <laughs> things and scribbles? Yeah. Right. What does he tell uh, you? What does he do? Yeah, so a lot of lot of sharing like sparring footage, and he reviews it and then tells him what I need to work on. Even even with other training partners, he's like, oh, you need a guy to do this, this, and this. It's oh. like this guy, this guy wasn't doing this enough. You know, okay. you need someone who's going to do do more of this attack. You know. But yeah, you know how he does the amazing breakdowns and stuff. He'll send me videos from the from TriStar and okay. I get the work that I need. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, being out with you guys. Miss you guys. And yeah, we miss you too here, man. And tell me, how has it been with the guys over there? Are you just stuck with your girlfriend or do you see some of the boys you guys hang out during the week? Yeah, it, it's nice. It's nice to be home, you know, like to, yeah. to train with the different guys. Obviously, our friends here, our family here and... Uh, yeah. Yes, it's not that is nice being uh being able to do the count with my dad. You know, he comes along yeah. to the sparring, he films the footage, and then I have to kind of mute it when I send it to friends. <laughs> my dad talks over it. He'll make like stupid comments over the sparring. And I'm like, come oh. on. No, I, like, like, I have to send that to friends, please. <laughs> yeah. It's probably time. good. He might say something for us likes. You never know, man. Yeah. Usually it's like me getting hit and my dad laughing. He's yeah. like, oh, that's not very good. <laughs> come on. Come. And yeah. how's your girlfriend doing out there? Good, man. Good. Yeah, yeah. Really she's good. She's the best so, camera woman in the business, man. Yeah, she's killing it. She's running my, like, the whole merch thing. Good. Like, being the head chef, you know. Yeah, holding the house down while I'm just uh, out here playing MMA. Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> and it's important to have a good, uh, you know, a girlfriend or a slash wife that's supportive and yeah. pushes us through our goals. Like, me and my wife, she's amazing. And it's really yeah. nice to be able to count on them, especially, like, during training camp. Like, me, I'm not a selfish guy. You, you're not a selfish guy. But when it does come time to we sign that agreement... There's that yeah. eight weeks. You, it's four months. I don't know how the hell they gave you four months to get ready. Again. You're like, again. The, know, you're like the spoiled guy now. Okay? I know. <laughs> Every time they're like, ah, maybe you'll find next year. <laughs> next year, yeah. They give you plenty of time, which is great. But they, yeah. but once the contract's signed, like, you know, you really hone in and you got to do what you have to do. And yeah. how, how does that go with you and your relationship with her? Everything is okay? She understands? Or what's that like for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's everything. You know, when, when you're chasing this career and you need someone that is is like understanding of what you need in those moments and she's the best to be honest you know uh, yeah, good. when it comes to like cooking the meals like making sure everything's ready at home like making sure my training gear is ready to go everything you know so that's amazing yeah man. it's a good yeah. part and even have. even now yeah even now i'm staying up till 4 30 a.m to adjust she's doing it too you know oh so, wow that's yeah. amazing yeah, yeah good 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 yeah good. That's awesome. You're like, and, yeah, uh, even me too. Like I incorporate, I try to incorporate my life like with my wife in it. Like I put on the YouTube and stuff, just like you yeah. guys are doing. I'm copying basically kind of what you're doing. And uh, yeah. it's a nice way to bond too, right? Because now you have like yeah. different levels of your relationship. You know, you don't only see her for just pleasure, but now you guys are working yeah. together and it's just going to create that that synergy between the two of you, you know? Yeah, so that's it. Like, really uh, you know, when we're in camp, you're dying. You can't yeah. eat certain foods. <laughs> She's on a diet. Sometimes Saturday she has a cheat day. Most Saturdays she have a cheat day. Yeah. She's like, I can't wait for the cheat day. I was like, you know you can eat that whenever you want. Yeah. Like, I do not mind. She's like, nope, we're in camp. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. She sounds like a Spartan wife, you know? Yeah. She's one of those tough yeah. Spartan wives, man. Yeah. That's, that's really, it. really that's good. It. That's awesome. That's great to hear. And does she give you any advice when she watches the video? Or like, you know, like me, my wife, 
once I get a name, she despises that guy and anything he oh, does. Really? Like she looks up their social media. Do you know what he's been up yeah. to lately? <laughs> you know, oh, stuff really? like that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, never, never that. No, uh, okay. um, no, she never. She doesn't really involve herself in any of that stuff. Okay, no. cool. Yeah, uh, her sister does. Her oh yeah, like, oh, that, that guy's ugly. Or this guy looks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah. man that's interesting yeah and her family isn't like what do her what does her family think about the fighting life too actually do they, do they uh, like it do they not like it i know some people you know there's like a dark stain on the whole like fighting thing some people still think yeah. it's like the barbaric thing but other people they they respect it yeah i i think they they respect it they understand it and uh they go crazy when i fight like I, uh, i've seen videos of our mom like like screaming at the tv like, <laughs> rip his head off kill him and all uh, that's stuff. awesome like, oh. She's like, I can't come to watch you fight because someone is going to get here. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. So, That's awesome. Yeah, so they get involved. Good. So they're, they're proud yeah. of you, man. That's really nice yeah. to hear. It is. Yeah. It is nice. Tell me a little bit about your family. Like, so now that you're over there, so you're getting to do the camp with your family around. And I know you say Big Pace helps out a lot too. Yeah. I see you guys live with us together. Of course, you go in his backyard. I love the whole <laughs> rustic look and everything. Yeah, man. What it's do you guys best. do to unwind on the weekend? Like, what's your, what's your guilty yeah. pleasure besides food? Like, what do you like to go do? Yeah. So where I live here, I live by, by a beach. So when it, obviously it's summer, but in England, the summer has been the worst summer <laughs> ever. It's the, it's the wettest summer in history, I think. It's oh, rained wow. like crazy. But usually we go down the beach, we we'll take the canoes out, you know, we'll uh, go out. And especially if it's a cheat day, we'll go down the beach, get a little ice cream or something. That's that's life for me, you know, going down there, just unwinding, relaxing. But the best way to recover, you know, I love going to the spa, yeah. but just sitting in the sea, just floating around. Yeah, that makes me feel good. Yeah, it's something serene about it, you know. Like I know my yeah. father, he comes from Lebanon, he comes from a beach city. Anybody that comes from somewhere where there's a beach, they just love to go on a, unwind there, you know. It just helps yeah. release yeah. all the stress. And there's also yeah. something to do about like uh, they did a study with eyes. Like when you look at something vast and very big and large, it actually helps calm you down, helps bring like a, oh, a right. release. Yeah, yeah. So that even like in yeah. the Japanese culture. They, okay. go, they, they go out and they go on the, like these top of these hills and to go see the vastness of nature. Yeah. And I have to look into that. Yeah. To look into that. Supposedly it helps lower like your cortisol levels. It's like the stress hormone. Yeah. So yeah, there's some kind of scientific behavior, behind, uh, scientific studies behind that. I, I do it often. I'll, I'll sit there. So where I'm doing the 4 a.m., one of the main things I've been doing, if I'm not training at 2 or 3 a.m., I go walk down the seafront in the evening and there's no one there. Yeah. The sun's start to come up. I do my uh, my breathing, my meditation, sort of sitting on the beach and like you just feel like everything, all the stress just goes. Like I'm not even like a like a spiritual sort of you know, crazy yeah, 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 yeah. kooky guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel so good. Yeah. Talk about kooky guy. I love the episode where you, you, you do your old mullet. You know, you're like, Oh, these guys <laughs> they go to these barbers and they take these mullets so seriously. Growing up, yeah. it was just yeah. guys shaving their head to save money, you know, and we look yeah, funky. Man. I remember I used to have mine, it used to be full of curls, man. I didn't need a yeah, perm. I didn't I need a perm. Far. But yours looks yeah, great. Yeah. The uh, you know, in COVID, like everyone started cutting their hairs yeah. again. You know, everyone had like these crazy haircuts. So I'm like, yeah, bring it back, bring it back, <laughs> man. Yeah, it looks great yeah. on you. The hilarious is your girlfriend when you when you're about to cut the front of your hair. She's like, not straight, not straight, <laughs> <laughs> just dead straight, dead right? straight. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. But you look great, man. And uh, I was I was <laughs> shocked to see how like lean you are now versus the first episode. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you I'm are a thick so boy. Good. Yeah, I'm chunky. Yeah. <laughs> chunky, but with abs still because you lifted <laughs> weights in that episode and I was like, how the hell do you have an eight pack? Yeah. And yeah. you got to be heavy because your cheeks were plump, yeah, but you're, I don't know, how come me, I don't know, naturally I look more like Fedor all the time. <laughs> I was watching one of my fights yesterday. I was like, man, I still have a belly in the ring. Like when I rehydrate, no, there's no abs. No, but uh, I think I'm just lucky. I think, yeah. I think that's maybe it. <laughs> the genetics man you got, yeah you got well your yeah. dad doesn't have the six pack he's got the keg but he's yeah. got he's a strong boy yeah. that guy a strong man that's the growth hormone he's injected i think <laughs> <laughs> i think that's that yeah. yeah well that's great to hear man listen i wish you all the best for the fight coming up next week you know if there's anything you ever need you want to chat chat call me up anytime and uh, thank you for coming on my first zoom interview for the channel i know you're very famous you're a superstar i appreciate <laughs> it that you come on <laughs> friends for a long time you're wait. doing you're, you're doing me uh, a nice favor i appreciate you oh of course man i can't wait to come do one of the watch alongs you've been doing yeah yeah i'm gonna on do one for your fight actually Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ian, Ian is coming on and yeah. I don't know if he's going to be able to control himself I think we're going to have to do a Arnold action uh, Arnold 
yeah. Alan reaction video about Ian after this yeah. one. He's like, man, I think I'm just going to get ripped. So I can, yeah. like, you know, relax. So I'm just like, yeah. oh, don't do that. I'm hoping uh, Louis can make it on too. So it's going to be me, oh, yeah. Ian, Louis, and I'm going to have my wife on. And uh, awesome. yeah, we're going to do the main card. We're going to do your fight. I'm excited to watch yeah. it, man. We can't wait to see you put on a great performance. Even your okay. last fight, I was proud of you, man. The, the, you know, the Movsar fight. I think, you know, if the ref didn't stop it, you were so close to finishing him with those knees. Like you could tell he yeah. was messed up after he sat down and they ended up being legal, you know? Yeah. Which is like, is I, I know is. we didn't get into that whole thing, but like for me, it's super controversial. Yeah. Super, yeah. super controversial. And it, I, it was, yeah. I was, I was happy that everything we trained, the whole camp, everything worked, you know, obviously yeah. bargaining the result, you know, that is what it is. But all the techniques and all the things we practiced, they they came through. Like the, the Grambies, like I, like yeah. I, I don't know if you, I don't know if you anyone interviewed you before, but like, but like when we started that camp, I think we had three months, something like that, yeah, or just under three months, and yeah. we started Grambying as soon as they called. Yeah. And the My first, they're terrible. Oh man, it was so <laughs> funny. Because we kept taking your back. And then I remember like yeah. after the first week, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, we got to get this guy up to par because, you know, we don't want you to get your back taken. We don't want you to get you stuck yeah. on the bottom. And then by the yeah, end it of it, crazy now, we had four that, guys on you. We couldn't take you down. That that skill now is like, is like I haven't drilled it anymore. Obviously, mm -hmm. a very different style of fight. Yeah, of course. But when I'm sparring, like that, it's just there. I, I yeah. can go back to that every time. I'm like, wow. Every time someone tries to take the back, like the crab walk coming up, I'm like, man, this is amazing. Yeah, it was incredible. Yeah. And like, Mofsar yeah. is a super high level wrestler and you didn't yeah. come from a wrestling background and for you to prevent yeah. the takedowns the way you did and never give up and you made him struggle you made him get tired and you worked him and you worked him you know like I don't feel like fighting a wrestler is a problem anymore for you you know no, it's like no. uh, it's like something now it's a, it's a it's a new card in your pack that you have and you can pull yeah. that out like you're saying whenever you want now you can do it in practice and whatever yeah. And, like uh, I really leveled up in that. Yeah, yeah, you really leveled up, man. And uh, I'm excited to see. Like, I I don't know. I don't really don't think Giga is gonna try to take you down. But for the future, you know, it's it's, no. a, it's a new feather in your cap, and it's great. Yeah. And we were so proud of you, man, to not give up any takedowns and never get stuck. Mm -hmm. like, even when we were Thank just you. talking about it, you know, some of those guys came into the camp because like now more Americans are starting to come back to uh, yeah. TriStar since COVID is uh, done. There's like no more lockdown. Yeah, that's nice. We had one of your ex opponents, Calvin Cater, come. Sweet yeah. guy, amazing training partner. Yeah, I really guy. like him. You guys are gonna be good friends i think yeah and, man. Uh, rob font and yeah we're telling them all great. about your grammys man so <laughs> now we have these guys working on those kind of things yeah. too and you're like the perfect example that we can always point to now yeah, because man. you went out there I'm looking forward to come back. yeah yeah, yeah. You, listen we're like things are great here so anytime yeah. you want you know you're welcome and uh, we can't wait so, to have uh, you. trudeau stop trying to take my money but I'll come <laughs> <back> <laughs> <soon>. <laughs> he's putting his hands in your pockets yeah, he's putting his hands in my pockets, hard. your pockets, yeah. everybody, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah. hopefully he's gonna be out the door soon. You know, Trump's gonna win in the states, and Paulie Ever is gonna yeah. win here. And things are gonna <laughs> change, man. But uh, great to have yeah, you sir. on, and it's always a pleasure to see you, man. You're the man. We wish you all the best and for you, this bro. upcoming fight. You're the best, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother.